and I, brothers, was not able to speak to you as to spiritual men, but as to fleshy, as to infants in Christ. I gave you milk to drink, not solid food, for you were not yet able to receive it. But neither yet now are you able, for you are still fleshly. For if there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not fleshly, and do you not walk according to the manner of man? For when someone says, I am of Paul, and another, I of Apollos, are you not men of flesh? What then is Apollos? And what is Paul? Ministers through whom you believed, even as the Lord gave to each one of them. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. So then neither is he who plants anything nor he who waters, but God who causes the growth. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's cultivated land, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, as a wise master builder, I have laid a foundation, and another builds upon it. But let each man take heed how he builds upon it. For another foundation no one is able to lay besides that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. But if anyone builds upon the foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, grass, stubble, the work of each will become manifest. For the day will declare it because it is revealed by fire, and the fire itself will prove each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built upon the foundation remains, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is consumed, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God? and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, and such are you. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone thinks that he is wise among you in this age, let him become foolish that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he grasps the wise in their craftiness, and again the Lord knows the reasonings of the wise, that they are vain. So then let no one boast in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come. All are yours but you are Christ's, and Christ is God's.